Hey plant gang, I'm in betwixt the Spirea thunbergii ogon, the golden thunberg spirea. Uh, right here, just about to be in full bloom, maybe a couple days from full, full bloom. I'm seeing some of these buds are uh, just starting to open up. Uh, and the smell is almost unbearable. Uh, it is not the best smelling plant on the planet, uh, but it does have a fragrance. Maybe some people would like it. I am not one of those people. Uh, but it is beautiful in the landscape. I love, in particular, uh, Spirea thunbergii ogon because of its four season interest. Here we've got this in uh, early March, blooming its head off, just about to really put on a show. Uh, it's got beautiful gold foliage in the landscape. Uh, and then in the fall, it'll actually, uh, the foliage will turn a little bit of a pinkish orange, which is beautiful fall color. And then just kind of the stem structure in the wintertime uh, is also quite striking. A beautiful plant, really a tough plant. Spireas in general are tough, tough, tough. Uh, some of them uh, do uh, reseed in the landscape. Uh, I myself in East Tennessee have never seen a seedling of Spirea thunbergii ogon. Uh, if you've seen a Spirea seedling uh, in our region, please make a comment about that uh, so other people know, but I've never seen it. Uh, but a beautiful plant, great texture, really lovely in the landscape. So this is a deciduous shrub in the Rosaceae family, hardy from zones four through eight. Gets between three and five foot high, spreading out three to five foot wide. Uh, bloom time for us is mid-March. Uh, if you're in a little bit colder region of the country, you could probably expect late April. Uh, loves full sun. Uh, you see these little white blooms right here. Uh, looking really good. It's got an arching habit uh, to it. It'll be putting on chartreuse colored to yellow colored leaves uh, here after, after its foliage. And you can actually already start to see those coming on. Easily grown in average medium moisture well-drained soils, again in full sun. Will tolerate some shade, uh, but it's gonna bloom more spectacularly uh, if it's out in full sun. Uh, really best gold, gold foliage occurs in full sun as well as it needs that sun to really activate that gold foliage. Uh, in the shade it'll be a little bit more of a chartreuse color. Uh, this is also uh, sometimes called baby's breath spirea. Uh, it is a great plant for the landscape, especially tough situations, foundation plantings, great uh, home landscape plant, uh, but also maybe even commercial landscapes. So a little, bit, a little bit about the leaves that you'll see a little bit later here. They're narrow, linear, lanceolate, sparsely toothed leaves. Uh, they emerge golden yellow in spring, maturing to bright green in summer. And then again, like I said before, it finally turns into interesting shades of orange, pink uh, in the fall. The leaves really do have a willow-like appearance. Golden spring fo foliage color gives way again to kind of more chartreuse uh, to green foliage later on in the season. Here's a landscape tip. Used in foundation borders or along sunny woodland areas of the garden.